I'm here with Mr. Ren in Bordeaux. You're the MD of Property Finder, a property website based here in Dubai. You've worked here for five years now, so you must have seen a terrific change in the way the website's been used over the years. Yes, actually I did. Uh, more, and more and more people are currently looking online for their properties. Uh, we have experienced a shift between traditional media, uh, which are print, radio, TV, outdoor, to online media. Um, I would say that the um, economical situation has increased um, the, uh, the, the shift since uh, a lot of companies uh, had to cut into their marketing budgets. So they really started to improve uh, their online marketing and look at this type of new medium. Although we have uh, experienced a huge increase in our traffic on the website, um, we nearly doubled the, the number of visitors per month in the past uh, 12 months and we now have over 200,000 visitors looking at properties on our website. Okay, so since the recession you mentioned that another thing you'd noticed was the content of the website has greatly improved. Can you explain what you mean by this and why you think this has happened? Yeah, I think we, we can, um, we've noticed a lot more transparency coming from uh, the agents uh, here in UAE. The quality of the content that uh, we, uh, we can observe on the website in, is much better than two or three years ago. Uh, you can now find 150, 200 words description for a proper unit with four or five pictures. Whereas when we started the website three years ago, you barely had any pictures on the website. Uh, you had one or two lines description, apartment, two bedroom, see view, and that's it. So you have a lot more information now since people can uh, do their own market research uh, on the website, every single information is one click away. So there is a lot more competition. We had about um, maybe 15 to 20 real estate companies advertising their properties online when we started up. Uh, we are now close to 200 real estate companies. So a lot more competition on the website means we need to improve the content of the listings. And what, what have you noticed in terms of the market? It's become much more of a buyer's market now, hasn't it? Um, I would say that we have about one third of our traffic now is going to the uh, sales uh, properties. Uh, two thirds is still going to the rentals. Um, we've, we've experienced uh, uh, changes in some trends of the market now for tenants, for instance. Uh, we launched a new service which is called Make an Offer. Uh, where because you have a, a bit of margin for the negotiation of your price uh, it can be if you want to buy a property or if you want to rent a property so we, we provide direct consequences from this shift is that we uh, basically offer the opportunity for a potential tenant or potential investor to uh, make an offer to directly to the broker if he's interested to buy or rent a property and our brokers quite happy to take a, a lesser offer depends on, on, on the margin of negotiation, obviously. Um, but if you have a, a reasonable offer uh, between 15 to 20 percent, uh, maybe below the market price or 10 percent below the market price, then I'm sure the, the broker is willing to consider it. What about the number of checks? I know that they've gone down to maybe two checks a year. Are they yeah. coming down more and more? We, yeah, we can see now some, some offer on the website with 12 checks, something that's never been seen before. Um, I, I would say that three, four checks is a standard right now. And yeah, as I said, you can see uh, as much as 12 checks. Um, short term rentals as well with furnished apartment is, uh, is becoming very trendy, um, which is a good news for the economy because uh, it's basically for newcomers in, in Dubai. You don't need to provide any checkbook, bank account or visa if you want an apartment, rent an apartment for two or, two or three months. That's another opportunity you can have here. Okay, the cheapest two bed I could find when I had a look on the websites was 60,000 in the marina. Okay. With all the new units you see being built in the marina, how low can prices go? Okay, we, um, from what I understand, we're expecting to have 35,000 units coming on the market uh, in the next 12 months. Um, obviously, this is going to be dispatched in, in different areas. Um, without being specific on the marina, the trends you can see is, for instance, like people are uh, moving from a smaller uh, units to a bigger unit. So you can move from a two-bedroom to a three-bedroom. This is due to the drop in the, in the market prices. Uh, but you also can experience 
uh, people moving from, let's say, Sharjah to like international city, for instance. So we've noticed that some areas such as international cities or Discovery Gardens are becoming more affordable uh, for a greater part of the population. And um, so those people, if they are moving from those areas, people from Sharjah are moving basically to Discovery Gardens or international city, which is closer. And then there is a shift, basically a transition and migration within the city. Um, in terms of, uh, uh, nobody can really say what's going to happen in the next three or four years in terms of prices. Personally, I don't think that's going to drop much more. Um, we uh, have pretty much reached the bottom of the, uh, of the market price, uh, but we can probably expect 10 to 15% more if, uh, if those units are coming on the market, but it depends on the completion date, on the handover, because we can still play on the supply and so on. Thank you.